Baking Up a New Kind of Robot. I'm Tanya Hall for ZDNet and Tech Republic, and joining me is Randall Wilkinson. He is the CEO of Wilkinson Baking Company. Welcome, Randall. Thank you. Good to be here. So we met at the Think Big Festival in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho in August, and at that conference, you showcased a rather unique robot. Tell us about the BreadBot and what motivated you to pursue this type of invention. Well, the BreadBot is a, an automated bread making unit that sits in typically a grocery store and bakes bread continuously through the day so that people can take home a fresh loaf of bread. It's particularly um, beneficial to the shopper because, because the bread is so fresh, it doesn't need preservatives, the additives, all of the things that have been put into bread in order to make it last longer so that you can have the central factory baking the bread, distributing to thousands of stores with all of the trucks and all of the fleets and everything. And the days that go by, by the time you get it and by the time you consume it, bread goes stale much quicker than, in a natural way, than what would be allowed in that kind of a distribution system. So by getting it, lo it local and by getting it right where you can essentially take it straight out of the oven, it's a great benefit to the shoppers and keeping people healthy. So making prediction of large quantities of bread is a challenge in traditional bakeries staffed by humans, but you've automated just about every step of the process. What were the most challenging aspects of this process? Well, when you're working with a mechanical device, it's always great if the mechanical device is operating with a uh, physical system in the sense of metal and, and fluids and things that are precise, but biological things aren't so precise. So when you're working with yeast and you're working with getting rise, and it depends on the humidity and it depends on the temperature and it depends on the elevation, and so many things are a part of what makes good bread good, um, making that a, um, a, uh, a recurring, predictable, functional thing is a real challenge. It's never been done before. We're the only ones that have this continuous process of making bread one loaf at a time. And a lot of things happen once you're dealing with loaves as an individual unit as opposed to a mass production of, okay, 100,000 loaves that are hard to distinguish one from the other. How long have you been working on this robot and how many bread bots have you actually produced so far? We started this uh, actually years ago, um, but the last 10 years have been the most significant. The idea really began back in the 70s and 80s. Some work was done then, but really technology hadn't gotten to the place where you had the sensors and the actuators and the PLCs that operate and run the equipment on the computers that are available today. And so it was really about 10 years ago that we put this into a rigorous process of creating the unit. We've uh, gone through a, quite a number of iterations, as you might guess, through the development process. But uh, at, at the present time, we've got about 10 units of the current final uh, pre-production uh, R&D models where we've placed them in stores. We've been using them with the public and seeing what happens. And in, uh, for example, the two stores that we tested in, we get a 30 to 50% market share on the pan loaves of bread, this, the packaged bread that's sold in the store. So it's been very well received in those test stores. What we're currently doing is transitioning from R&D into actual manufacturing and we're getting everything set up for that so that we can begin to roll it out actually on a, on a rollout or at least in a uh, proof of concept testing for stores that are starting to use our technology. 
can I assume that you have patents on this mini bakery technology that you're rolling out? Yes, we have patents uh, in place. We have patents uh, currently in process. We have patents uh, being filed. So it's uh, definitely the first of its kind and in, uh, intellectual property that we're very protective of. I realize that the production quantities are of high value to big chain retailers, res grocery stores, and that sort of thing. But I find it very fascinating that you have the potential to customize every individual loaf in a way that traditional bakeries cannot. Explain how that works. Actually, there's a couple of things to address in that. One is that version 2.0 of our uh, equipment, which really is some time off, uh, not even forecasting when that will be, but will be the kind of thing a consumer can from their phone say, okay, I want uh, two loaves. I want uh, it to be a loaf of, uh, or loaves of uh, sunflower seed with 40% more sunflower seed than usual. And I want half of the salt and I want to pick the two loaves up at 3 p.m and it'll be in the cooling cabinet waiting for them when they arrive. That, we now know the track, the path to getting there. And again, that comes back to the ability to address loaves on a single basis. Our current technology is whatever is in the hopper, maybe a 50 or 100 loaf uh, uh, supply that is being processed that might be a nine grain at this point, and maybe this afternoon will be a, uh, home style or whatever the store is wanting to make. And so that personalization on what the bread is, is a later version. But what uh, will be available actually relatively early we anticipate is, for example, the ability from your phone to say, okay, on the bread I want you to decorate it with uh, this emoticon and I love you, Suze, and have that engraved by laser into the loaf so that as you bring it home, you've got this unique loaf of bread that was, uh, that was your message on it and your, uh, what you wanted to be on that loaf. So that's the, uh, a taste of the kind of uh, customization, the kind of personalization that can be done with uh, this kind of technology. How long does it take to make a loaf? Uh, from the leaving the hopper as a mix to going through each of the processes and finally finishing the baking is a 90 minute process. But each loaf is followed by another loaf behind it six minutes later. And so every six minutes there's a fresh loaf coming out of the oven or 10 loaves an hour. What kind of response rate have you gotten from grocery stores or consumers uh, that watch the robot at work or maybe want to deploy it in their uh, retail outlet? We've had a lot of interest, as you might guess, and um, two of the largest uh, grocery retailers in the country uh, have indicated to us that they're planning on doing testing of our technology in their stores when those uh, machines are ready early in 2019. Randall Wilkinson, CEO of Wilkinson Baking Company, baking up a new kind of robot. Thanks for joining me. If somebody wants to connect with you, maybe they want a fresh loaf of bread. How can they do that? Wilkinsonbaking.com is our website. There's a lot of information and opportunity to contact us if they want. Thanks again, Randall. And if you want to find me, you can do that right here on ZDNet or Tech Republic, or maybe go to my website tanyahall.net. I've got links to all my social sites. Thanks for watching.